Why does nutrition have to be so complicated? Basically, over the last years, we've been told that fat makes us fat, fat clogs our arteries, uh, fat gives us heart disease. Uh, what about carbs? Carbs make us fat. That's why we need to go keto, ditch all those carbs. Uh, and then meat gives us cancer, so we need to go vegan or we need to be plant-based. With all this confusion, uh, people are wondering what to believe and what not to believe. Uh, there's so much uh, dogmatization, if that's even a word, surrounding nutrition. And I think that making things simple in 2020 uh, will help you to reach your fitness and weight loss goals. It'll help you to reach your wellness and health goals and make you feel like a new person. So the bottom line is, we all need to find some version of a whole food, non-processed, uh, nutrient-dense mode of operation. With less bad fats and more healthy fats, we're winning. With less bad carbs and more healthy carbs, we're winning. Uh, with less bad meats and more healthy meats, we're winning. That's okay, so again, everyone's opinion is going to differ here on what's a healthy fat or what's a healthy carb or what's a healthy meat. But we can all agree that we do need these macronutrients. Um, for Let's take, for example, healthy fats. We know we need fats. Cholesterol makes our hormones. We have to have healthy fats to make our testosterone or estrogen or progesterone or cortisol or insulin or these things. Our brain is made from fats. 90% of our brain... Hold on, i got to take my cookies out of the oven. Now, don't judge me. They are... Almond flour and coconut oil, chocolate chip cookies, so no judgment. Anyways, uh, omega-3 fatty acids, they are essential for reducing inflammation. Um, we have to have them. Fats are essential for cell growth. Fats are essential for detoxification. We have to have healthy fats. So this whole low-fat diet thing is totally busted. What are unhealthy fats? Well, we're talking about vegetable oil, soybean oil, canola oil. Um, these trans fats or these, these bad fats are what you're going to fry stuff in. It's what the fast food joints fry all their food in. Uh, it's what a lot of foods are pumped in to preserve them. A lot of soybean oils are put in things to preserve them. They're very good preservatives. However, they are highly inflammatory. Uh, basically, they are bad fats and we don't want them. So, what are good fats? Well, hopefully we can all agree on olive oil is a good fat, coconut oil is a good fat, avocados are good fats, nuts and seeds in moderation, good fats, sardines and salmon, the omega-3s we get from those, excellent fats. I'm going to make the carb issue, the complexity of simple carbs made easy. So, ask yourself, did a carb... Did this carb I'm about to eat, did it have to be processed by man in any shape or form? What does that mean? Uh, could I have eaten this carbohydrate source completely raw, unadulterated in the wild? Fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, uh, legumes, you know, these things are all carbohydrate sources that uh, we could have consumed raw in the wild without man's processing in any shape or form. Now, does that mean that on the weekend you can't have a little tortilla chips or a little uh, sourdough bread or something like that? Absolutely not. That's part of the 80-20 rule. And the 80-20 rule is 80% of the time I'm following uh, this outline that we're talking about today. And 20% of the time we live. Carbohydrates are not essential and you know what's really not essential is excess sugar and excess grain consumption these things are highly inflammatory to us uh, they raise our blood sugar through the roof uh, that raising in blood sugar raises insulin insulin stores fat it's called lipolysis uh, so we want to avoid those things by sticking to unadulterated unprocessed carbohydrate sources like fruits and vegetables and uh, not many people can argue with that fact that fruits and vegetables are the best sources of carbohydrate that we can get. Now, as for meat, do I think that meat eating is essential for health? No, I don't. So, 
can we get away with no meat? Absolutely. Uh, a vegan or a vegetarian diet done correctly can be extremely anti-inflammatory and extremely um, healthful. However, we can get away with a lot less meat if we choose to consume meat. Uh, there's no reason why we can't have one meal a day that isn't plant-based. So maybe that's a place to start at is one meal out of my day, I'm going to have a plant-based meal, whether that be my smoothie in the morning, uh, whether it be a big salad for lunch or something like that. Uh, so the point is, though, what that does, is it frees up uh, our meat consumption or the money that we spend on meat to buy free-range, grass-fed, wild-caught meats. It doesn't matter what study you look at, every single time, hands down, these titles, free range, grass fed, wild caught, they produce more nutrient dense meat sources. So happy animals produce more nutrients. So if we eat less meat in general, that frees up the money to spend on these sustainable meat sources like free range chicken, free range eggs, wild caught fish, grass fed beef, on and on and on. So in the end, it saves us money and it also allows us to eat higher quality meat sources and not support um, big meat agriculture systems that are producing highly inflammatory processed meats. Uh, and even if they're not processed, they're corn fed, soy, soybean fed animals that aren't treated fairly. They are left out on feedlots. They're given lots of hormones and antibiotics on and on and on. The same stuff you guys have already heard. All this in a nutshell, we need to eat balanced. We need to eat balanced nutrition uh, to make sure that we're covering all of our bases. I don't like the word diets. So diets are restrictive and nutrition is about nutrient density. So 80% of the time we're feeding our bodies nutrient dense sources of food and that's healthy fats, healthy carbohydrates and healthy protein sources. So hope this helps clear up the controversy on all this complexity. This is Zach with Muscles and Veggies. More videos like this coming your way soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.